Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install the BuddyBoss platform. I'm assuming that you've already set up WordPress and that you have already downloaded the BuddyBoss platform plugin, which will be a zip file. So first thing we're gonna do is go to plugins, add new, click upload plugin, and then you should have a file, buddybossplatform.zip. Click install now. This should just take a moment. And then we can go ahead and click activate plugin. And right away, you will get a friendly pop-up, which is basically just telling you what changes we've made in the most recent version of the platform. So you can read that if you're interested, or you can close it. And then you'll see that it says we need to update our permalink structure. So let's go ahead and click that. You may or may not see this depending on what your current permalink structure is. We want it to be set to post name. So really anything other than this, we don't want numbers in there or it won't work for the URLs in the platform like members directory, etc. Um, I would go with post name myself, click save changes. Then now uh, you'll see that you have a menu, a new menu here called Buddy Boss and everything related to Buddy Boss platform can be administered from here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on components and you'll see we have a few components already activated out of the box. So this is really meant to be a high level tutorial, just showing you an overview of what happens after you install the platform so you know how to navigate around. There will be other videos that explain every single component in detail, how to configure them one by one and, and all the functionalities. So with that, let me explain what all this is. So each component you can think of as a major feature set and each major feature set has its own settings and options and content that go along with it. So. In here, you can activate or deactivate components. And when you activate them, a couple things will happen. So some of the components will require a page to be assigned to them. And some of the components will have additional settings. And then you'll also be able to see, basically in BuddyBoss platform, most of the content is presented on the front end because it's a front end community, but you can also drill through the content in the back end. So just as an example, let me go ahead and activate social groups. You'll notice there's no groups menu here. And now suddenly I have a groups menu back here where I can add a group or see all the existing groups. And if I go to settings, you'll see that we have settings for groups added. Okay, and then we have our pages area. And in the pages section, we can assign pages to each of the components that require a page. So for example, members has a page that's assigned to be the members directory. This is a page that will list all the members who exist on the site. Groups have a groups directory, which is gonna show us all the groups that exist on the site. This brings me to another point, which is that BuddyBoss platform is a plugin and is meant to be theme independent, meaning you can put any generic WordPress theme on it and it will look okay. So we have just very basic styling that will not get messed up with themes. And then we have our own BuddyBoss theme, a premium theme we sell, which makes everything in BuddyBoss platform look absolutely stunning. And We've developed the BuddyBoss platform and the BuddyBoss theme together hand in hand to make sure every single feature that exists here is styled nicely in the theme. So this is kind of what it looks like out of the box with 2019. If you view it with the BuddyBoss theme, it's gonna look a different way. So for example, if you come to our public demo of our theme, you can see this is what the groups directory is gonna look like if you're running our theme versus this basic structure here. So we have uh, the pages that we can assign to the theme and each page is actually just a WordPress page. So in here you can create a new page and if it doesn't have a page already assigned, it will also create a page automatically for you if you want to. And then we have registration options. So it says registration is currently disabled. So we can go to general settings and then we can click allow non-member members to register new accounts and save that. And then now if we go back to pages, we can assign various pages for the registration. So we have register, assigned, and activate. What this is going to do is basically that if a user has not yet registered an account, then they will be able to register on whatever WordPress page is assigned to here. And after they register, they will get sent an email with a link they can click to activate their account, which will send them to the WordPress page assigned here. And then we have some other options. You can create a WordPress page for terms of service and for your privacy policy. And if you assign those here, then in the registration flow as part of the registration process, it's gonna make the user confirm that they agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. So let's go back to settings. And 
one more thing I wanna show off is that we have private network out of the box. Right now, let me just go in a private browser and you can see I can see the site and navigate around. If I set it private, then all of a sudden it forces me to log in or register and that's all I can do. So, and we can also add custom URLs that we wanna make visible to the public. So that's built in out of the box here. And then we can go to integration. So we have various third-party plugins that we have, have put extra effort into making work nicely with the platform. So one is AppBoss. AppBoss is a service that we provide where we can launch a native iOS and Android app into the app store for you and have all the data and functionality sync back and forth with your community. And we have a strong integration built with that. And then LearnDash is a learning management system, which allows people to, allows you to administer courses on your website and have your users take the courses. And we've added some really strong integrations with LearnDash, which we'll go through later. We also integrate with Events Calendar Pro and WP Job Manager and some other plugins. You only see them in the integrations tab if there are custom options for those plugins um, when the plugin is activated. All right, let's move on to tools. And in tools, we have various tools for repairing data on your community, importing profile types, setting up default data, etc. And then if you ever get lost, you can always go into the help tab. In the help tab, we have tutorials that explain to you how to administer all, all of your content, how to do everything in BuddyBoss platform. So you can always come back here as a reference if you get lost, click into one of these and drill down, and you'll see all kinds of written tutorials and other videos showing you how to do stuff. Some of you might be coming to BuddyBoss platform new. Some of you might be used to BuddyPress and you're switching. If you're not aware, BuddyPress is a open source plugin for WordPress that allows people to create communities. And we've used it for many years and BuddyBoss platform is actually a fork of BuddyPress. So it means we took BuddyPress and split it off and started modifying it and improving it. And the reason we did that is because BuddyPress has been developing too slowly for, our, for us and uh, is not adding the features that we want and it just hasn't been going in the right direction that we think is necessary to deliver the quality experience we want for our customers. And so we felt the best thing to do was to take it over and put a professional team to develop and support it ongoing and keep it as a, as a free open source product. And so that's the way we've been building all this. And so if you're used to BuddyPress, when you switch to BuddyBoss platform, you should know that BuddyBoss platform is backwards compatible to BuddyPress, meaning whatever data you had will port into BuddyBoss platform just fine. If you have existing BuddyPress plugins, most of them should work just fine with BuddyBoss platform. We're being very careful with that. And once you switch to platform, you no longer need BuddyPress and you no longer need BBPress. You can remove both of those because BuddyBoss platform is a replacement for both. So you'll notice we have a component here called forum discussions. You can activate that and now you have forums. This is BBPress merged in and then we have modified it greatly. Um, BBPress and BuddyPress were meant to work together but never really worked perfectly. Now it's really, really tightly integrated. So for example, the admin interface is all consistent with everything else in BuddyBoss platform. I can go to forums in here and I can see a list of all the forums and discussions that are in the site. I can go to settings and click on forums and I can see all the forum configurations. And this has allowed us to not, not only give you a unified admin experience, but to do some really special things in our theme. Like here you can see what a forum that's in a group looks like. And we've just got this really modern UI and we're able to just do things that we wouldn't be able to do if we hadn't taken over the core structure of the, the plugin. So with that, I think that's a pretty good introduction to BuddyBoss platform. Stay tuned for other videos where we'll be going into each one of these settings, integrations, tools, into all of it deeply and showing you how to configure each one.